Okay, guys, so we've got upper body number two. Again, 10 exercises, we're gonna group them in twos. So we'll do uh, three, three rounds of each one. And the first one will be a, a walkthrough by way of a warm up, getting us used to the exercise. And then the final two rounds then are work in sets. Again, round about 10 reps, doesn't matter. But the intention is to put as much sort of effort and intensity into each exercise, yeah? Okay, so go to the first two. First one we got is a circle pull. So we're gonna be clasping hands together and we're gonna be doing that sort of motion, yeah? But pull in both ways, we work in the shoulders. So if we do that then guys, you can see what I'm doing. It's just that, that sort of figure of eight, but I'm pulling each way. So resistance, you're pulling away and you're pulling back. Now all the tension then is in the shoulders. It's all up the body. So again, it's a lot harder. What I don't want to do is just grab your arms and just twist them back and forth. Perfect. On the next one then, we're going on the floor, we're going to do a pike press up. Okay, so the pike press up is going to be in that sort of position there, and we're pushing down and back. It's not a normal press up, we're over the top of it, we're pushing there. So that we're coming at that sort of angle there, guys. That's it, so it's not a straight up and down press up. That, that angle there. Okay, so we we'll go back now. We we'll do two rounds, two more of those. Now this is the intensity bit now. So let's go. Hands together, clenched. See my shoulders tightening. Okay, let's go. Two, three, four. Five. Keep going, right, guys. It's tough. Ooh. Ten. Perfect. Okay. Let's go on the floor. We do those sort of pike press ups now. So we're coming down at an angle. Drop to your knees, that's fine, that's fine. So we're in there. Try to do as many as you can. Okay, great job. Keep looking at my screen, make sure I get the right shots. Okay, short break. Do those two sets again, those two exercises again, working sets. Okay, again, this is why it's short and uh, try to make it as effective as we can, keeping it tight, keeping it short, keeping it sort of intense. Get as much out of it as we can, as much out of it as we can in the shortest possible time. Okay, let's grasp our hands the last time. Big circles now, I'm pulling, big tension. Come on, last one. Ooh, that's quite tough. Okay, the last time, let's do those pipe press ups again. So, we're in that position. That's a normal press up. So, we're gonna feet are in and we cover up the angle. Okay, let's go. Job guys, well done. Okay, short break. 
The next two exercises coming up. And the only recovery we want is once you're talking, once your breathing's back, bang, we're going again. Okay. So the next ones we got, very similar. We got the, uh, what we call the dive bombs and the Superman hold. Okay, again, all up the body today, guys, don't forget. So the dive bombs now, we're demonstrating from two angles. So, again, if you want to get down, practice these as the warm up. So we're up. And that's the same as the previous position, or very similar. And we're going to be. Let's do six of these as a warm up. Oh, that's tough. Okay, from there, we go into the Superman holds. So, what is that? So we're going to be arms stretched out, feet off the floor, chest off the floor, face slightly up, hold, three, four, five, short movement, six, perfect, okay, so there's those two, again, short break, 30 seconds, tops. Big breaths, keep moving around. Don't forget, if you're watching me now, I'm just sort of moving and shuffling about. Again, it sounds sounds a bit petty, but we're looking for all calorie burn. So all I'm doing is moving. All my steps get added up just by moving. Okay, guys, let's go back in then. Dive bombs for a set of 10, followed by Superman holds for a set of 10. It's going to be quite tough. Okay, come on then. So, we're up in that position there. It's a swoop. tough guys if you've done 10 of them you've done well don't forget over this next month if you're going to do five great just make a note next time we look for six or seven that's what we're after guys progress okay flat on the floor feet off the floor chest off the floor superman holds just holding that top position there Perfect. Okay, again, 30 seconds recovery. Whatever you need. Oh, turn that off. Get it warm. Okay, if we're ready, guys, for the last time then, dive bombs all up the body. Come on, 10 off. Tough. If you need to take a short break, bang, let's do it. That's tough. That's hard. Okay, stay down then. Let's go for the last time. Ten Superman holds. So, feet off the floor. Chest off the floor, hands out stretched. Feel that low back, feel that the shoulders.
perfect job. Well done, guys. Okay. Quick, quick recovery. Next two we got Superman reach now and the shoulder scissors. Okay, Superman reach. Again, we'll do the first one as a, as a bit of a walkthrough. When you're doing this on week two, by all means do the three sets. And by all means do more sets of this. This is a guide. This is just getting you focused. This is just giving you a structure and a plan to follow. So we're gonna do three rounds, but if you wanna do more, crack on. Okay, Superman reach. So the Superman reach is gonna be that. So we're on the floor and basically we're stretching out. So we're stretching the lat muscles there. So we're there. It's harder than it looks. It's tougher than it looks. Okay, I can do 10 there. Again, who cares? Right, shoulder scissors. Now, we're gonna put our hands on straight, do it from both angles, and we're gonna be doing a bit of a scissor movement. But, we've gotta get those tension in those shoulders from the off. So, we're pulling in there. Three, four, five. See by my breathing, that's hard. I'm tensioning the shoulder from the off. Yeah, we're tensioning, and we're not just putting our hands there and crossing. I'm under tension already, so now resisting the pull across. Yeah, we can use bands. If we can, to make it a little bit harder. For example, if we've got some of these, we can. There. I don't think you need bands. If you want to use them, by all means. Towel. Again, we can use towels. But my preference is, is to learn how to contract the muscle, is to use nothing and just do the exercise. Okay, round two then, let's do the Superman reach again. This was a tough one, so you're stretching out, you're in that full position there, and you're basically you're lying on the floor, you're just doing, you're just doing that. And that's what we're working, is that black muscle there, that stretch there. You can see that, I don't know if you can see that working there. Okay, and let's go then. Ten of these. So we fully stretched out off the floor, stretching forward. Oh, oh. look at you guys, they're tough, they're hard. They're hard. Okay, straight up into the shoulder, shoulder scissors now. So again, arms straight in front. So we're pulling across as if we're pulling that band, but tension in those shoulders from the off. intensity up yeah keeping that level of you know short sharp 25 minutes okay let's go again last time superman reach we're on the floor feet off the floor stretch you forward one Oh, that's tough. Okay. 
up for the last time, shoulder scissors then. So again, parallel with the floor, tighten them shoulders already, so already now they're under tension. something that looks so innocuous can be so tough okay great job go back on the floor for the next two we're going to do a, a hyper press up I'll explain that now and a sort of a reverse crucifix so we'll do the first round as a demonstration and as a warm up getting ready and then two working rounds again when you get used to it we can do three rounds of these Okay, so the hyper press up is going to be along this line here. So we can be, we can be on the floor, and it's very similar to a press up, but we then press up, pressing up, and hyper extending out back. So going up into that position there. Press up. legs on the floor if you can. Oh, perfect. So roll over. And the next one. You would feel like a lot of movement in this. So basically we're trying to get the palms of our hands on the floor and you're pushing the palms of your hands in the floor. So your lower back just comes under tension. You can have your knees up if you like. So that's all it is. Can't see a lot of movement there. So if you're pushing your hands down onto the floor now, it's tough. Push your shoulder blades. Oh, okay. Again, may have to practice that one, guys, but that's what we're trying to do. That position there, just pushing back ever so slightly, working across the upper back. So what we're trying to do on the upper body day is work with combinations, chest, shoulders, and back. I'm putting a little bit of core at the end, but it's upper body. Okay, let's go again then. Round two, those hyper press-ups. So we're laying on the floor, hands sort of underneath, level with your face, and you're pushing up, keeping your lower body on the floor as much as you can. Show from a different angle. So we're in there. Great core, core, shoulders, triceps, lower back. Great job, guys. Okay, spin around, I'll do them a different angle again. Again, very short movements with this one. So your hands are outstretched. Crucifix, hands, palms on the floor, so push it down. Keep that tension on the upper back, guys. job okay relax 
all these are just mimicking what we would do in the gym. Like we would do a rear dumbbell raise with those or a face pull. Very similar movements, guys. Okay. Last round of these then, and we'll do a little bit of core to finish up. Okay, let's go back in then. Those hyper press ups. So, we're laying on the floor. Hands just shoulder width, perhaps a little bit wider. Pushing up, keeping the lower body on the floor. Nice and controlled at all times. Ooh, that's tough. Okay, spin around. For the last time, stretch your arms out as wide as you can, palms on the floor, okay, press that lower back, press your uh, upper back, press your uh, palms into the floor, put that tension in there. Great job guys, awesome. Okay, that's the upper body session. So what we do now, we're just gonna put in four sets, so, so two rounds of core, just as a little finisher, and that's you done. Okay, although, again, as always, not easy. So we're gonna do side plank dips and shoulder taps combined. So, side plank dips, we're in that, Side plank position there. I'll be dipping down and up. Keep the body straight. Four. Perfect. Switch sides. Again, body straight in line. I know we're not tilting forward. We're straight in line. Drop down. Easy as that. Straight into shoulder taps. Okay, and then let's plank this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. Again, no need to go overboard on, uh, on core. I'm just gonna give them a little bit of a work in because in any upper body, and lower body, we work in the core because we tighten it. Everything we do, we tighten the core first. Okay, last round then. Side planks, both sides, shoulder taps for 10, and we are good. Okay, let's go ahead and get that side plank position. Again, keep that body nice and straight. One. Perfect. Switch round. Keep it in line. Drop down. Perfect. Roll over onto your front. Ten shoulder taps. Again. Keep that nice plank position, stay nice and low. And 
that guys is upper body two tough short time is about 30 minutes take as little rest as you need just enough to recover and go again awesome job guys cardio tomorrow well done adios